Hello and welcome to Paladins of the West Kingdom, solo mode, in about three minutes. Note this is a solo only review and will not cover the basics of the game. This video will work best if you've watched our other one first. You win the solo game if after seven rounds of play, you have outscored the AI opponent. The player turns in Paladin solo mode are exactly the same as the multiplayer game, with two small exceptions. You only ever get two tavern cards to choose from, and you're always first player Set up your own player board as you would for a multiplayer game, but then set up an AI player using the AI side of a player board. Turn over a number of King's Order cards based on the difficulty of the game you want to play. The AI starts with workshops on each of those matching spaces. Reshuffle the King's Orders and place them on the turn track along with five random King's Favor cards. Then place one of the AI's King's Favor cards on top of each of them. These will be added to the AI deck starting each turn from turn three. Place three workshops on the King's Orders. When a new King's Order is revealed, place that workshop on the matching action on the AI board. Place the remaining AI cards on the board and the green tracker here. The AI gets three workers, plus one for each round of the game. On the AI player's turn, turn over an action card. When taking actions like Recruit and Attack, the AI will target the card in the slot matching the placement of this green tracker. The AI gains the discard bonus for recruiting townsfolk, in this case two tacks. The AI never keeps silver or provisions. Each time it would gain any, move the green tracker along one space. Base. Conspire gains the AI two workers and a suspicion card. The AI can also gain debts if the tax stand runs out and they have the most suspicion. The AI then plays Absolve using three workers. They flip over an absolution token, lose a suspicion, and repay a debt. Commission is next and they will target an area they can reach on the main board using this priority order. Free recruitment spots are first chosen, so place the monk on that space on the main board. The king's order is next, so you would look at the available king's order. In this case, it is Commission, which is already occupied, so we follow these arrows to the next available space, which is Prey. Prey makes the AI clear all its spaces on the right of the board and reshuffle their discards into their deck. The AI turn ends when it cannot place any workers or when the rest action is used. In between full turns, another card is revealed and the associated workshop placed, this time on Fortify. The first AI card is King's Order, so we look to the rightmost order that the AI doesn't yet have five of. In this case, that is Fortify. This gives the AI more silver, which causes the tracker to go back to the start. This raises the AI's lowest attribute by one. If those attributes are tied, the attribute on top of the stack is moved up first. They then draw Convert, which allows the AI to gain an outsider for victory points. Note that the AI always gets at least one point from an outsider at the end of the game. Note that in later rounds, when the King's Favor comes up, the AI will place in the available King's Favor spaces based on the location of the green tracker. Why would you like this game? The Paladin solo mode is not just a beat your score game. The AI plays like a pretty good human player, focusing on the higher point scoring aspects of the game. The King's Order cards in particular modify how the AI plays. The tracker is another solid system, as it means you can't be 100% sure of what the AI is going to take more than one turn ahead. The same is true for the Monks and Garrison track. The free recruit spaces will go fast, so you have to take that into account with your actions. And any finesse the AI player lacks is made up with brute force, as those extra starting workshops really help the AI get rolling. The best thing about the solo mode is when you catch yourself cursing the AI player for taking something you wanted. However, it does take a while to set up with the different boards and there is a lot to keep track of, so it's definitely not one you can just set up and play in a couple of minutes. The AI in this game is a direct evolution of those presented in Circadian's First Light, Raiders of the North Sea, and Architects of the West Kingdom. So if you like those games solo, there will be no surprises here. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.